Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the newest addition to the Diecast Masters 1 to 125th scale collection. This is the Caterpillar 745 articulated dump truck. The item number is 85548. And a little bit of information if you may not be familiar with this unique to Diecast Masters 1 to 125th scale. The idea goes back several years now. Originally, Diecast Masters wanted to have a lot of their biggest models, so a lot of the biggest equipment that Cat produces in the real world, in a very manageable scale so that you can have these presented on people's desks and also have a fleet of Cat's largest equipment in a small and manageable collectible scale. So that's kind of the origins of where this 1 to 125th scale originally came from. A lot of the models, the first run of the models when they came out, they were presented in flip-open presentation-style boxes uh, which with etched through name plates within, within the ability to have them be engraved. So they were very nice, and the models themselves often had a lot to be desired because they were really small castings, so that didn't really allow for a lot of detail to be shown through. But still, the idea stood, and over the years, we've seen some of those castings re-released in some commemorative color finishes, which then later became part of the commemorative series. I'm talking, of course, about the 797F uh, dump truck, which was released originally in the 1 to 125th scale in standard cat black and yellow. And then just last year, you may have seen my review on the commemorative edition version, which was a copper finish, a very sharp looking model. So again, that's a little bit of history about the 1 to 125th scale. It is kind of a, a, a very touchy subject among most collectors, but the idea was very out of the box, no pun intended. But this year, 2021, we do have a handful of new additions to that collection. This is one of them. You probably have already seen my review on the 657G Wheel Tractor Scraper, which is the other one. So with that large dissertation and explanation out of the way, let's begin the unboxing. I already explained that the item number for the dump truck is 85548. By the way... These are no longer in the flip-open style packaging that we saw with the first run of these 1 to 125th scale models. They have now been upgraded and moved to what's known as the Highline series. So as we begin this unboxing process, you can expect to see the high-quality metal tin that your 150th scale and 187th scale models normally come in. So you cut one end of the tape, open up the flap... Your tin will be housed in this protective nylon bag. So let's get that out. Here's our tin. You can see on one side it has a picture of the truck. And the first thing that you will probably notice is that this 745 truck has the most accurate and up-to-date nomenclature for Caterpillar, known as the modern hex design. Cat 1 to 125th scale, Cat 745 articulated truck. Note that these models are intended for use by the adult collector, ages 14 and up minimum. The top of the tin has a different picture of the 745 truck at work. At the back, you can see an excavator loading the truck and the real machines, dimensions, and specifications. If that interests you at this point, please pause the video. You can read about that. For the rest of us, let's pop the top of the tin. Also, as you may expect, you have the catalog that comes with every single Diecast Masters Cat product. And this has the full range of models in the Cat range, including, if you bear with me just a second, we're going to flip to the 1 to 125th scale product range. So you can see all of them. There's the 797F mining truck I was talking to you about. There's the Cat 994K wheel loader. If we turn the page, you'll see the CAT 797 mining truck, the 390F hydraulic excavator, the D11T track type tractor, and the CAT 24M motor grader. Now note, this is last year's catalog, so you won't see the 745 truck or the 657G scraper as they are new releases for 2021. All right. Let's stick our finger in the finger hole, remove the piece of top foam rubber, 
that should allow us to get our first glimpse at the actual model. And there it is. Let's be careful what we grab onto and set him down. At this juncture, let's take a quick break. Allow me to move all the packaging material off. When we come back, we'll get down and dirty and get straight into the model review. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this short break. All right, welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Now we have the model out of its tin. We can begin taking a look at the details. So as I said before, this has the newest nomenclature or trade dress for Caterpillar, and that's the Power Edge. You can see that that is reflected with the 745 on the side of the dump box. You can also barely see the cat logo through the hand and grab rails, which is right there on the side of the cab door. I'm going to try and angle that so that you guys can get a glimpse of it. There you go. You can see it right there. The hand and grab rails are plastic and thin to scale, which look very good. Turning the truck around to the front, you have lights here. Once again, the Cat Modern Hex logo in front of the grill. You have side view mirrors. And even in this tiny scale, you'll note that there is simulated mirror finishing, and that's done with some silver highlight paint. Here's your access steps up into the cab. Again, one of the more minute details is the grill highlighting on the side of the cab, which again is done by a decal. Once again, you have 745 on this side of the dump box, and on the rear, you can see some lights. Alright, as for the functionality, this is an articulated dump truck, so the first thing that we want to be able to see is, does it turn? And the answer is yes. It steers quite well across the articulation joint, so that's good to see. There also is a fair range of tilt, so the truck can oscillate over rough ground. The rear axles have very little range of oscillation, but that's to be expected when a model is, for lack of a better term, shrunk down to this small of a scale. Last piece of functionality we want to test out is the dump box. And as you can see here, with the help of these cylinders, plastic cylinder jacket here, and then the actual metal part of the ram, it does dump out without too much of an issue. So how would this look with another Diecast Masters 1 to 1 25th scale model? Well, you're in luck. Let's bring in the 390F which is a large excavator, and we'll pose him loading our dump truck. As you can see, the two make a pretty impressive pairing, and by just having these two models in 1 to 1 25th scale, you can have an example of two of, lar of Kat's larger equipment in a very manageable scale that you can pose on your desk at work. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you know where to leave them down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.